in Nagaland state due to the corrupted system of the government and the higher officials. Educated, unemployed people like me are rendered jobless. We are not even given chances to apply for jobs which lies vacant. This is because the post goes to the so-called minister's quota. In this video, I want to show you a perfect example of corruption. This is Nchumteng Patan, a graduate in economics. He was appointed as an accountant in veterinary department. Let us now see how his job got revoked. I got this top job through my uncle, who is parliamentary secretary for geology and mining. How did your job got revoked? Since some students union agitated in all the departments, where jobs were offered through backdoor appointment, my job got revoked. I don't think I deserve this job, that's why it was revoked and then it was given to someone. There are around 50,000 educated unemployed youths in Nagaland. Most of the jobs in Nagaland are offered to those individuals who are either related to the ministers and parliamentary secretaries or are from political background. Uh, during my tenure as uh, Pyeong Sun Sun President, uh, we have initiated a lot of program and we have even gone against this very government, uh, governmental department issues. We even staged a demonstration in Guimma. The Jung Students Union Woka are doing a perfect job. They have started checking all the departments for backdoor and ad hoc appointments. If they become aware of such cases, they strictly revolt and agitate. This is why many jobs which were offered through backdoor appointments got revoked recently. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have any power or authority to end any corruption. But as the president of Kyong Students Union, I can only pressurize the government to eradicate corruption. I know a friend who used to sell teachers' job to people for rupees 80,000 per post. She did this along with a person who is a personal assistant to a minister, thus paving way even for the common people to partake in corruption. This is because no one wants to stay unemployed. This video is just one example of corruption. What makes me angry is that this story is one of thousands. As a result of this corruption, unemployment in Nagaland is very high. If we ever want to lessen unemployment, this corruption must end. I call on the people of Nagaland to come together and fight against this corruption. From Woka, Nagaland, this is Mary Beni Kikon reporting for India Unheard.